So people often ask me how I find time to get so much done within my business. You know, I'm always creating content, I'm working with clients, I'm out networking and everything in between. And the truth of the matter is I have a few little tips that I do use so that I'm spending my time each and every single day more productively so I can get more done. So what I'm gonna be doing is sharing those tips with you today. I really wanna say a big huge thank you to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. If you did like it, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and of course if you are new here then consider subscribing so the first thing you want to do is if you want to get more done throughout your day so that you can actually save yourself time is you want to make sure that you are scheduling time for you to be focused and uninterrupted you know if you're flipping back and forth from checking social media to trying to do some work then it's going to take you a lot longer to actually get the task done so you want to be blocking off big chunks of time in your calendar where you can be focused and uninterrupted and i know i've spoken about it before but the extra bit of this is when you are actually doing that focused uninterrupted work your mind is naturally going to wander that's absolutely fine we're basically goldfish but when your mind does wander what you want to do is implement meditation strategies to bring it back so you can continually focus and get the task done in a shorter amount of time if you find your mind is wandering off as you are trying to complete a task all you want to do is simply bring it back just like a dog on a leash you want to bring that thought back in you know as you would in meditation Take a couple of deep breaths and then refocus on the task. And don't be hard on yourself. It doesn't matter if your mind keeps wandering and keeps wandering and keeps wandering. All you need to do is keep bringing it back. And the more you actually train yourself to keep bringing it back and refocus on the task, the quicker you will find in the future, you'll actually begin to start getting things done. Another really good tip on this as well is make sure you are putting away all distractions. So close down all the tabs, put your phone in another room if you are going to feel tempted to check it. So the second thing that I do is I take a look at some of the tasks that do take me a much longer time to get through. And I find ways to really be able to reduce those tasks. So one in particular is reading. You know, reading sometimes to consume all of the information in some of those great self-development books, it really can take a long time. And some of those books are huge. I'm looking at you, Tim Ferriss. But I really want to be able to consume all of the information in those books without actually taking up so much of my time. And that is absolutely why I love the app Blinkist. So what Blinkist actually does is transforms the key highlights out of a whole range of non-fiction books so that you can consume them in 15 minutes. You know, and the best thing is you can access it on your phone, you can access it on your laptop, you can access it on your iPad. And additionally to having the books in readable form, there is also an audio form as well, which is amazing because then you can consume the information on the go. I love Blinkist so much because some of the books are just way too big to read. You know, I've always wanted to read Losing My Virginity, Tools of Titans, and I just don't have time to sit down and read that much information. So it's really great that I can still get the benefit of the book without actually having to dedicate myself to like a billion pages. And the thing is, we spend so much time on social media, you know, each and every single day, we can often find ourselves like, scrolling through social media. Statistics says we spend up to two hours on social media a day. You can consume a Blinkist book in 15 minutes. So if you're spending two hours on social media, that's like eight books you can consume in one day. And what I actually did was I put Blinkist to the test to consume a book in 15 minutes to show you just how easy it was. So I wanted to show you exactly how easy it is to use Blinkist to consume the information from books in less than 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is do a live test here on camera for you, timing it and reading a book. So the book I've chosen is Jack Canfield, The Success Principles. This is not a book that I have read before. I actually found it in the search feature of Blinkist under the self-development section. And I'm going to be starting the timer right now and showing you just how easy it is. So ready? Time is done. Well, let's start reading. Kentucky Fried Chicken's founder's name is Harlan Sanders. Never knew that. Mm. I thought his first name was Colonel. <laughs> Thank you. 
Done. Nine minutes and 38 seconds. Pretty good. Really good. Basically, this book was about just a few habits that you can adopt to have more success in your life. The first one was taking responsibility. So we talked about you need to take 100% responsibility for yourself. The second was you need to have clear defined goals and a really clear vision of what it is that you want to achieve out of life. And then use affirmations and visualization to be able to get even more crystal clear on that goal. Then it spoke about tying up unfinished business. So you, if you have some half done projects or if you have, you know, things that you've just started and not completed, either bin them, basically scrap them, eliminate them, get rid of them or tie them up and finish them off so that you can be dead focused on what you're trying to achieve. It then spoke about finding relationships and mentors, hint, hint, mentors, <laughs> but finding relationships and mentors so that you can grow further and faster towards your goal. It also spoke about nurturing the relationships with the people around you. So that might mean starting a mastermind or getting like a business bestie to be more applicable to, you know, us girl bosses. Then it also spoke about the mentality of wealth. So how wealth is not just about being wealthy as in having cash in the bank and assets. It spoke about your relationships and your contribution as well. So it recommended, you know, to find a worth worthy cause that is close to your heart and then volunteer some of your time. So it basically, to summarize was just speaking about the habits that you need to adopt to feel really successful, not only just in business or whatever it is you're trying to pursue professionally, but also to feel really full in your life as well. And Blinkist are offering a seven day free trial. If you did want to put the 15 minutes to the test and consume yourself some great content in less time than reading a book. And you know, a seven day free trial, that's like 672 books you could read in that time. Boom, get so get onto it. The link for your first seven day free trial is in the description below. So another tip to making sure that you are getting more stuff done in less time and being more productive throughout the day is making sure that you yourself are in a peak physical and mental state. And the best way that you can start doing this, the most simplest way that you can do this is to make sure that you are getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, and eating nutritious foods. Getting enough sleep really helps to spark cognitive acuity so that you can be more focused and have quicker reaction time just to get more stuff done in a shorter amount of time. And then making sure you are drinking enough water to avoid any type of brain fog or drowsiness that is going to slow you down throughout the day. The more stable you are physically and mentally, the more capable you are of just being able to smash through those tasks productively throughout the day. And then you get to spend more time and doing what you like in the rest of your time. And another kind of tip on this as well, I didn't want to mention it because I probably say this all the time, is to make sure that you are starting your day with a morning routine. After you've got at least seven to eight hours of sleep, make sure you're starting your day the right way by doing meditation, by doing journaling practices, by exercising, and by having a nutritious breakfast because that's going to put you in a peak mental state so that you can be more focused and more productive through that morning routine. It's important. <laughs> Another great way that you can be more productive and save yourself some time is to actually do a weekly time audit. So just like if you were going to keep a food journal to make sure you could have a visual representation of all the foods that you were eating in a week, you know, to know where you can make some cuts to save yourself some calories. What you actually wanna do is for an entire week, all throughout the day, document exactly how you are spending your time. So just in a journal, every single time you move from one task to another for an entire seven days, write down exactly what you are doing. Then at the end of the week, you wanna look at this list of your tasks that you have spent your time on throughout the entire week. And you wanna assess if there is anything that you can automate, delegate, or eliminate. You know, often we are just spending time doing things that we don't need to be doing or that can be outsourced to other people. You know, maybe you are a parent and you are spending a lot of time in the morning with your children, is it possible that you can, with your partner, work out a schedule so that you could save some time there and focus on your business or whatever you're doing? Or are there some tasks that you just don't need to be doing at all and you can completely eliminate from your schedule and save yourself some time to focus more on the things that are going to move you forward? So another tip to get more done in less time and to be more productive is to use what Tony Robbins calls net time. Now, this is kind of just a fancy way to say multitasking, but doing it in a way that's not going to draw your attention away from something that needs pure focus. So if you are trying to work on something, you don't want to be multitasking because you need focus. There are things that you are doing like driving, the washing, walking, that you can couple with another task. So a really great one is when you are driving, of course, 
course, concentrate on the road. But when you are driving, you could listen to one of the Blinkist app audio books so that you could be consuming that 15 inf minute information whilst you are driving. Or maybe if you were having a phone meeting of some sort, you could be doing some stretching as you are on the phone as well. It is a good idea if you want to get a lot done to couple tasks together and use up that net time. So that is it for me. Those are my productivity hacks for how you can save more time so that you can get more done. Don't forget to check out Blinkist. They are absolutely amazing and you can get some amazing information in less than 15 minutes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I know what this was. I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you in the next one. You have to turn that off. Yeah. That's it. That's okay. I'll start this one again. Just keep it rolling. Yeah. Keep it rolling. <laughs> It's just like you'll see me write, have it written down in the journal and then I'll like look classic. up and I'll, you know what I mean? It's classic. It's just classic stuff. <laughs> if you did like the video, I would very much appreciate it if you gave it. No, I already said that at the start. Yeah. <laughs> very keen. Everyone like it, please. Everyone like this video. Give it those likes or dislikes. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. Mostly likes, though. <laughs> so, this is number one or number two? <laughs> <laughs> I feel tempted to check it. That was good. That was good. Not a bad one. You're good. And then you get to spend more time doing what you like at the rest. I don't know. Me rolling. They hating. I'm so wide and nerdy. Gonna catch me wide and nerdy. Gonna catch me wide and nerdy. So I don't know if you've ever taken the time to like go through my videos when I'm typing away to get some b-roll or journaling in a book but if you've ever actually stopped i write the most random stuff like literally short stories about spaceships and going to the beach and people eating potatoes while they wear glitter go back and read watch some of them it's really funny <laughs>